What's up guys and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make a working dropper inside of Roblox Studio here so let's get straight into it. Alright guys so now once you load it into your game or whatever you created or whatever. Alright so and then yeah so what you're going to do is you're going to insert a part you it's what whatever part you want like it can be a circle or whatever uh but for today's tutorial i'm going to be inserting a square block and then this square block is going to turn into our dropper here so what we are actually going to do is i am going to scale the block however big i want all right and then put it up and then copy and paste it make it a little bit smaller move it a little bit and then copy and paste it and then scale it a little bit like this all right like that and then uh insert another part uh let's make it a little bit skinnier let's put it like right over here maybe it doesn't have to look the best, you know, like, I'm just making this, but if you want your game to look as nice as you can, as nice as it can be, like, the best game on Roblox, you guys can make it fancy and stuff, but I'm not, I'm just making it how, uh, ever I want, really, so. Now, once you got your thing, you guys can make it colors and stuff, uh, but I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it white, you know? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert another part. Okay, just like that. Here we go. And then you're going to put, and then you're gonna scale the part to however you want. So I'm gonna scale mine skinny. Uh, let's go a little bit here, and then I'm gonna make mine even skinnier, and then even shorter. Just like that. So now we are going to just rotate it down kind of like this. And then bring it up. And then put it like over here maybe. You can put this uh, part wherever you want. But I'm going to put it attached to my dropper. But you don't have to put this part but I recommend to. Just makes it look better I guess. But. Alright, so inside this one part, or whatever part you want to make a drop out of, you're going to insert a script, and then copy and paste the script that is in the description. Alright, so now, just going to paste the, uh, the, the thing. Oh wait guys, I put the wrong script in. Okay guys, I just edited the script a little bit, I just forgot one part of the script. I mean, yeah, one variable of the script. Uh, it's okay. I got it back. It, the correct one is going to be in the description. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on your place again. Make sure to anchor every single part uh, that you uh, have on your thingy or whatever, dropper. All right. Make, make sure you anchor it. So now what we're, we're going to do... We're going to click three parts. If you only want one part, you guys don't have to do this step. You guys can skip straight to the script editing. But now once you do that, you guys, uh, once you put like three of your things or two or whatever, how much. Uh, we are going to, I'm going to put my neon and then this one green, neon green. And then this one, uh, I'm going to keep my, I'm going to put my to rock and then I'm going to. Uh, and then I'm going to put this one to blue, and I'm going to keep this one there. So now what you want to do is click on all of your parts and name them item 1. All right, that's item 1. Yeah. This is item 2. All right. Now the last one is going to be item 3. I, ten, three. 
Now, once you do that, you guys can edit them or whatever, but I'm just going to hide mine in the ground right now because we don't need them. Go back to the script, and whatever you named your uh, items, uh, you're going to put uh, after the dot in every single one, just like that. Then the wait time, you can put however you want. Uh, so, like, let's go four seconds wait time. Uh, all right, and then you guys can put a conveyor belt under. Uh, this conveyor conveyor belt is actually a wrong conveyor belt. I don't like it, but I'm just going to insert this one because this is like the only one I can find right now. So, there we go. There we go. Now I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Boom. There we go. There we go. So now once you got everything, you can uh, test it. If you anchored and did all my steps correctly, uh, you should be, your thing should be dropping like this, but not, not to the side. My, my game is bugged right now, uh, because this thing pushes you to the side instead. I don't know why. This conveyor belt has a lot of bugs, but, uh, if you put the correct conveyor belt, it should be going, uh, like over here or whatever. Uh. But for me, just these conveyor belts suck, and I cannot find the correct conveyor belt. But in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a conveyor belt. So, uh, I'll leave a link for my group, and then I'll leave the script down in the comments, and I will also leave a link to the next video. So, yeah. That is exactly how you make a dropper. You guys can like do anything with your dropper. Uh, you guys can put this up into the sky like as high as you can. And then you can play. It's still going to drop, but it's just going to take... Alright, there we go. See? It just shoots up into the air, as you guys can see. Yep. Why aren't you shooting? Aren't Sometimes it shoots out? up from the air, yeah, but it's, it's like sniping from up in the sky for some reason. Uh, so I'll just put it back right there. Uh, I don't recommend you guys to, like, make your thing super high. Like, high, high. Uh, I just, what I recommend is I just, alright, wait a minute. Do that. Well, I cannot highlight everything at once. There we go. And then just scale this one a little bit more down. There we go. And then it works with a conveyor belt or whatever. Guys, do not question my skin also. Like, I, I like it. It's hot, 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 hot spot. I like it. So, that's how you make a working conveyor belt. I mean, a working dropper. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a working conveyor belt. And also, one more thing, if you guys want to highlight the whole thing, you can either, like, drag this thing across the whole thing, just like that, or click control and just tap on everything, it's going to highlight everything, just like that. And that's how you make a working conveyor belt, I guess. Yeah. So, if you guys want me to show you guys how to, I mean, that's how you make a working dropper. Sorry, guys. So, if you guys want uh, me to show you, like, how to make a working conveyor belt or, like, how you can pick up the, how you can pick up the, uh, parts that are dropping. What? And stuff like that, uh, you guys can always comment down below. Like, feel free to. So, yeah, if you copied exactly everything I did, your dropper should be looking like this. So, yeah. See you later, guys. See you in the next.